What's up YouTube? This is Modoc Bass Reaper coming at you with another video. And today I got a brown box I got in the mail two days ago. And I'll get to that in a moment, but first I'm in my the old bedroom I used to be in year, a couple years back. This is the office. <laughs> And this is where my laptop is now. It's not, my room is across the hall. The door's closed, but it's across the hall. Of course, this is where I used to sleep in here because my hats are still hung up in the corner over there. But I figured I would let you see where we're located in this video today. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. I got a package two days ago, and let's see what's inside, shall we? And I know there'll probably be, I'm not saying no names because the last video I made, somebody wanted to say that I made poor videos because I wasn't prepared in my last video. I was, it's just, like I said, sometimes when I do retakes, I already opened this box from the last retake and I wasn't gonna tape it up again just to, that'd be a waste of tape. So I'm sure there'll be that one person and I know who it is, who will say something about me not being prepared. I was prepared, I have the box here with the products inside I'm ready to record I was just showing you the background this will be my new office basically but anyway this is the leatherneck well mini leatherneck cold steel and this is what the box this is, gives you an idea of what the knife looks like um, this is the double-edged dagger style because it comes in three different blade styles. You can get the Tonto or the Clip Point. But since I like, you know, I've always liked dagger for like tactical because it can be used as a self-defense if you ever needed to. Hopefully I don't ever have to. But it serves, it has a nice edge. It looks very sharp on the edges. It has nice sharp edges. This is made in China though. Some cold steel products, some of their good products. And I'm not saying that. None of the cold steel knives I've ever owned were garbage. But most of the cold steel I own are made in Taiwan. Very common place where knives are made. <clears throat> It's just China makes cheaper knives. Not all cheap knives made in China are terrible. I have plenty of them that I used that hold the edge pretty well. Just has to be sharpened quite a, quite often. Anyway, the next knife in the box here, I ordered two of them. Is we got the William Will Lumson Copenhagen Depot knife. DE uh, tongue twist depot knife. I do believe that's how you pronounce it, but it's the Copenhagen. Let's just keep it short, like it says on the box. But on the website, it says depot D E P O T. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm pronouncing that right. And this is made out of Oz 8 steel. And we're gonna open it. This is made in Denmark. It's a Danish knife company. And this knife looks way better than what it looked online when I looked at it. Is here it is. I like that sheet that it comes in. You could rotate it you can uh, take the screws out and like rotate it you could carry it scalp carry where you carry it behind your back sideways 
you can pull it out and that's what the knife looks like once you pull it out i like to carry fixed blades a scout carry sideways easy to pull out than trying to pull up i like to pull it out from the side sideways than trying to pull it up that's just me everybody has their own way of carrying fixed blades but this is oz 8 i like that how they had their logo that looks nice um i believe the website said that's g10 but it feels like micarta maybe it's a, a micarta look but g10 feel but i think it's really micarta i believe if i'm not mistaken from the website the specs say micarta because that's what it feels like for, for some reason i thought it said g10 but no and uh that's stone washed it's got a nice edge to it as a matter of fact i tested out it's pretty sharp right out the box well crafted it's a nice uh knife i like the sheet that it comes in it just snaps in like that it doesn't fall out like some knives see some knives come with a sheet that actually snaps let you know it's secured but some knives come with a like there's some good knives i've ordered in the past that comes with a cheap pouch or a sheet that it comes in but the knife looks amazing so um so there's something else oh in this box actually it looks like it came with a i don't know i never opened this so I wouldn't know for a fact what it is, but let's find out together. Let's see what this is. I think this is a patch, a Velcro Pro patch at the uh, company logo. And uh, this might be for like, if you wanna iron it, because it looks like you iron it and melt it to stick to, uh, any type of clothing you want to stick it to or whatever but that looks nice it looks velcro but i can't really tell because i'm trying to i don't want to mess it up no it's not i think this is an iron on patch one of those that you iron on because it's not velcroed and i went to peel it and it looked like i was peeling back the logo i don't know and i definitely don't want to mess it up because that looks nice it r really does and uh this i would think you could probably i would think that's probably what it is is you could do this and then tuck it through like such and pull it and there you go it's like a lanyard that looks cool has the logo on a block as you can see it's kind of somewhat wait yeah the camera's right there I got confused for a second. So that looks nice though. To be attached to it. Kind of give it a snug fit. I might keep it on there like that. That looks nice. But sometimes when I have a survival knife. When I go camping. Sometimes I don't want nothing. But it gives it a more nice decorative look to it. You can also adjust it to any angle from here to here. I kind of want it like that or somewhat in the middle. That looks nice. 
But yeah, that's the two knives, but there's something else. When I ordered these two, of course, you know, anybody that orders from Blade HQ knows your order comes with a stick. But this time it came with two things. First, the sticker uh, this time around, presidents are temporary, knives are every day. I like that, kind of like a election style, you know, sticker. I'll figure out where I wanna put this. I think I might put it on my tackle box with my other knife stickers and all that. And then it comes with this patch. This is actually Velcro, actually. wonder how I cut my knuckle. I didn't feel that. I know what you, people are thinking. Why would you do that? I didn't wipe it, want to wipe it on my good shirt or anything. But it's Velcro. And then you have this. You probably could stitch it to anything like to a shirt and then or on your backpack you can sew it to your backpack and decorate your backpack your survival backpack or anything of like, like that try to put it on there neatly the way it as it came out the plastic can t uh, little baggie it came in put it back on nice and neat and that's basically what came in the mail the other day and um, like I say again this one right here might be something I use when I go camping this might be a good bush crafting knife good with bush crafting it's very hefty too it's a nice size I forgot how long it is overall. Sometime this week, I'm going to do a video of all the knives I've acquired this year. Be like an end of year look back of all the knives I've acquired in the year 2024. And it might be a video of showing some of my favorite knives in my entire collection. Who knows what video will come next just have to wait and see but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it comes out okay <laughs> but hopefully y'all have a good one and uh, we'll see you in the next video